Okay guys, here's the deal. People always ask me who does my hair. And I always tell them I do it myself. And then, you know, they always say, hey, I could never make my hair look like that, you know, on my own. And I always say, yeah, you probably could. It's not that difficult. Um, and then I was showing Delena how to do her hair. And I noticed that she had some issues with the silkening process herself. Now, anybody can wash, deep condition their hair. And it's pretty much the same for everybody. You wash your hair, you deep condition your hair, you sit under the dryer and all of that other good stuff. But the, the step that really gives it the body and all of that, if you're not roller setting it, which I never do because I can never get the rollers right, is the process called silkening. Silkening is just adding heat to, a, to sections of your hair so that you can get you know, good body and optimal results. So I did a little video earlier today about how to silk on your hair. I look a hot mess in the beginning <laughs> and at the end. <laughs> so y'all have to know that the only reason I did this is because I love y'all like crazy, okay? <laughs> but anyway, sit back. I hope you get some tips. If you have any pointers for us, please make sure you share them with us. Um, we got to get everybody with healthy, gorgeous, fabulous, beautiful hair in the next year or two. How about that? All right, darlings. And here is the process known as silkening. Okay? Okay. Okay, so here I am with pre-curled <clears throat> hair. And yes, it is a sight to behold. <laughs> So uh, I pulled it back and I put a little moisturizer uh, along this part and on the sides and everything. And now what I'm going to do is section it off using alligator clips and little uh, scrunchy thingies and my wide tooth comb and my mirror. So basically I'm going to start like right up in the top middle. And I'm going to make everything go kind of forward. I'm going to do my little ponytail thingies on the sides. Making sure that I section off probably about an inch and a half maybe um, width of a section of hair. I'm not going to do too much combing of the hair as I'm getting it out of the way. Um, and I'm just going to show y'all like a section of it so you don't to sit here for a long time. Um, now when I do my sections, the sections are pretty uh, thin across as well. You do a section, you comb it up gently to make sure that you got the space. You take your curling iron and initially you rub the curling iron across the root then you take it, you pull it up all the way to the end, and you curl. And I usually hold the curls toward the top until about 10 seconds. And there we have a pretty good curl. When I pin it down, I make sure I pin it inside the curl so that I don't make it too straight or whatever doing that. And you just keep on sectioning piece by piece like that until you've made your way all the way down throughout your hair. All right, see? And then you pin it in the inside of the curl. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that until I'm to the front, and then I'll show you a little bit better um, how I'm doing the front of it, okay? I'll throw it away for you. Thank you. Alright. Oh, <clears throat> okay, guys, I've made it to the front of my hair, and I just wanted you to see um, the length of the sections uh, that I make. So, I just go in with the end of the comb pull it out, 
And you see it's really not that thick or too, too thin as either. And I just do the same thing that I was doing toward the back. Now, I don't know why I start at the back. It's pretty habitual by now. And then I pin it back loosely with the alligator clip. And I keep doing the same thing until I'm finished with that row. And I keep moving on until I'm finished with my whole head. Okay guys, I hope you got it. If you need some help, just send me an email or just comment on this post. Love you much and hope your hair is doing fabulous and you're always remembering to keep your stride snake, baby. <laughs> Smooches.